Okay, this is the second part of page 119, question 6. I'm going to try and get the suspense done, and then we'll move on from there. So, when I read the balance sheet, it says that the suspense was mixed in with debtors. So, that means the account that has the suspense in it is debtors. So, when I finished, and I've cancelled all of my mistakes, there'll be zero on the suspense, so I'll end up being left with debtors alone. So, the debtors account at the moment has a balance of 83.6. And that 83.6 is the balance uh, brought down. Uh, 83.600. Okay. I'll just make it more visible. Uh, see. 18. Now, so that's the balance in there now. Uh, I need to uh, go and find wherever suspense has been mentioned. Put it into my debtor's account, and that means I'll end up being left with no other entry in there, no suspense entry, so I'll end up with pure debtors only. So I'll go back and I look at my general journal. So from the very beginning, I see there was no suspense, no suspense, all the way down, there's no suspense, and I'm just quickly double-checking that every time I have, I add up my debits and credits, and they're all the same, they're all the same there, they're all the same there, here. No, that one there, number one, is okay. No, uh, number two there for that one, there is a suspense, and it's 13,200, and it's on the debit side. So I'll go in here, and I'll go, uh, what is this? 13,200, and it's to do with debtors. So I'll write, um, and it's 13,200. So that goes in there. Quick look down. Are there any other suspense items, bank dividends, cash, no, okay, nothing else. So that means that now my suspense account, the balance CD and my suspense has now been cancelled, so my balance CD and my debtors is basically those two numbers on the left uh, added up together. So that would be 96,800. 96,800. So that's that, and when I add up the two sides, I'll get 96,800 there on the debit, and 96,800 there on the credit as well. Okay, so that's that balance. So the balance uh, BD is for that one is 96,800, and I'm going to put that straight into my balance sheet. So down here, I've got a blank document. That's going to be my statement of correct net profit, and the next one's going to be my balance sheet. So I'll go to debtors. And the figure that's going to go in there is the figure that I had way up above here uh, for 96,800. So that is the balance BD figure of 96,800. So that's put in there. So now uh, my suspense is now finished. So I can move on to the statement of correct net profit. So the original net profit, when I look at the question, it says um, add profit and loss balance 131. So I'm assuming that that is the profit for the year. So 131,000. Um, okay, so um, let's erase these from a previous question. Okay, so now I'm going back through my trial balance and seeing is there anything here that's an income or expense account? So sales returns, that's going to be an expense because uh, it's the opposite of sales, which is an income, and it's got a debit entry, so I'll be taking that away from my profit. So 1890, and that goes down here. And, and I'm putting it in here because it is a debit entry in the sales return, so I'll be taking away from my net profit. So that's the first one. Then I move on. Uh, P can't, J can't, not relevant. Purchases returns 1980, and that's on the credit side, so that will be added on, okay, to make my profit higher. 1980. And that's purchase returns. Okay, next one after that. Again, I'm scrolling down, seeing is anything that's income expense, and we have a bad debt there of three, four, six, five. It's in the debit side, so that's going to make my profit smaller. So we have bad debt. Three, four, six, five. Then we go back up done our bad debt, I'm looking for the next one. Bank, no, bank appears in my balance sheet. Share premium, share premium is kind of like capital, it's more money 
uh, put into the business which is owed back to the owners so that's going to be a liability in, in the balance sheet capital same story in the balance sheet bank is balance sheet uh, rent received so that's going to be something that goes in the trade of profit and loss 5950 and it's a credit so 5950 and it's rent received Um, we've done that now. Purchases returns one thousand eight hundred, and that's going on the debit side. So that's going to be uh, less. So purchase returns. So purchase returns is one eight hundred. Next one. Uh, creditors no, that goes in the balance sheet. Debtors is an asset in the balance sheet. Suspense I've already dealt with uh, in my debtors account. Suspense is something that doesn't go as an income or expense, it's a correction account, so it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, it's just something we've already emptied, we've cancelled. So, restocking charge 1460, that restocking charge is a charge, money we were charged, so that's going to be an uh, income or expense. So, restocking charge, money we were charged is going to be an expense for us. So, 1460, restocking. Uh, next one. So we've done a restock in charge, creditors, no, that goes to the balance sheet, bank is okay. Dividends, so dividends is an expense, it goes in the appropriation account at the end of a trade and profit loss, which is an expense, the business has lost money. Okay, so, so I'm squeezing it in here, dividends. And it's 90 grand. Okay, um, we've done our dividends. Bank again is an asset, we've done dividends, creditors is a balance sheet item, cash balance sheet, bank is balance sheet, and discount received, that's going to be an income, okay, and I have less discount received because I've had to cancel it, so I'm putting it in here, so discount received goes in there. Now, so I'm going to just correct all this, so I add these two numbers together, I get a total, so that that will be added together and then I'm going to add that on to the figure I've got above. So uh, the corrected net profit was originally 131. I'm adding on the, the credits which is that and our debits. So I'm going to sum all these together. Okay so that's all of the debits and I'm going to take those debits away from the figure above. So that's 4275. Okay. So there's a correct net profit. So that 4275, I'm going to put that into the end of my balance sheet. So way down here, now let's just see, those are lining up right. So the, the, this template I had was for a sole trader. So this business is not a sole trader, it's a company. So our capital and, and layout is going to be a little bit different. So we have, uh, let's see, we're not going to add our, we're, sorry, we are going to add our net profit and there's no drawings in this one. So the capital, there was uh, 900,000 capital. And then we had share premium. This is the extra money that people are willing to pay to become owners in this business. And the share premium, now where is that? So when we sold the shares, it was way up. So share premium, people paid 13 and a half. So that's added in there. And then we're going to add uh, our profit. So profit and loss balance, that's a figure that would have appeared in the appropriation account when you did your junior search. So that profit and loss uh, figure has now, because of the... Uh, the corrections to our profit, that figure is now 40. So add that together and that means that the figure at the end of my balance sheet, if I've done it right, is going to be that. So now, I've already put my debtors figure in and I just have it in the wrong place there. And that's current assets. So, I go to let's see, so let's go balance sheet, and then first we have fixed assets. 
So a copy of the fixed assets that were given at the beginning of the question, which is premises, uh, furniture equipment. And motor vehicles. Okay. Okay. Uh, premises 750. I don't think I see any, I don't think there was any change to that in this here. We didn't buy any new premises, anything like that. Rent, no, there's no mention of the word premises, so I'll go back down to premises. I'll put in the figure uh, of 750. Furniture and equipment. Uh, I don't recall buying any furniture equipment or selling any furniture equipment, but I'm just checking. I don't see a mention there in my general journal of the words furniture equipment. So uh, 70 grand stays as it is. Motor vehicles. I don't see any more motor vehicles. I didn't buy or sell any motor vehicles. So that is 130 grand. So I'm going to add all these together. So current assets. Stock, debtors and cash. So we've got debtors there already. So there's no mention of stock. Generally stock is done from a stock take at the end of the year. So there's no reason generally for a stock to have to change. And then cash. So it says cash is 4.4. Four. I think there was a change to cash, so have a quick look through. Uh, let's see, it's in the beginning. There was no cash there. I don't think it was bank, all right, but there was no cash. Bank, uh, cash 300, and that's uh, going to be in the credit side. Cash is an asset, so credit, uh, cash 300 means I have less cash 300. So 300 taken away from 44 is 4100. So I'm going to add those together total of my current assets. So, current liabilities. And then we'll have uh, the two that are listed are creditors and bank. So, creditors is listed as 70,200. Um, so equals 70,200. Now I know there's a couple of entries here, so I'm going to add on these. So where is creditors? Now, this guy Canty, I just want to quickly check. Uh, so there's two different guys Canty. One is uh, Jay Canty, who is a creditor, uh, and P Canty, who is a debtor. So that P Canty should have been put into my debtor's account there, where I had my suspense. So I'll need to alter the debtor's figure that I have there now. So that's the P Canty. But the J Canty, 1980, uh, I received credit now. So I'm going to need to take that away. So that figure is going to go in. So put, which figure is it now? So the credit now received J Canty. So the J Canty figure is a relevant figure. It's a debit entry, so I'll be taking that away from him. Let's just quickly check. I've put it in as a plus, I'm going to make that a minus. Okay, so next one. I think there were a few other entries in that. Let's just see. Um, now. So, um, we so I've got, we're going to take away 1980. And then the season at notes down here, 1980. And we're going to add on 1800. That's a credit entry. So that's 1980. Take away 100. So it's 180 is going to be taken away now. And I see oh, 1460 is going to be added on. And 360 is added on. So that makes sense. So 360, 1. Okay, so down to our creditors. So it's. Minus one nine eight zero plus eighteen hundred um, plus one four six zero. I think that's it. I think I'm, I might be missing one though. One four six zero. Oh, and it's minus one four. Sorry, plus one four six zero, and it's plus eighteen hundred. So I forgot that. One. 
And if you look at the top of the screen, you'll see the mistakes or the entries that I'm making. And you'll see where this formula that I have down here, that comes from, and that's the figure, how I got it. The figure is my trial balance, and the four changes we made to creditors. So, our bank figure. So, bank starts off uh, in my trial balance as a liability of 17800 Okay, so let's just see what changes we need to make to bank, because there should be a few of them. So we have 3645, it's on the credit side, which make that liability even bigger. So 3645 and 67500 is going to be added in. So there's a number of different figures there, so I'll do them one at a time. 3465 is the first one. And now, so down here, so that. Uh, plus 3465 and then we have minus now the reason it's minus is that this overdraft is going to get smaller uh, and it was 67500 now let's quickly check in so that's 67500 so that's done right so then we'll the overdraft is going to get smaller again by 5950 and then it's going to be, um, uh, we're going to make the overdraft worse by 90 grand. And then we got a bank of 620. So, 620 is added in, which means it makes my overdraft worse. So I've got minus 620. Um, the overdraft increases by 90 grand. And I've missed one more. I just got back, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, we have this bank of 5950, which is going to reduce my overdraft because I was getting money in. So it's not like getting money in should be a plus, but because I'm making an overdraft smaller, it's going to be a minus. So it's minus 5950. So that's that. So I'll add all of these together. So um, that's that. And then I'm going to, my working capital is going to be that number, the current assets take away my current liabilities as I've already done before, and then the net assets figure is 950 plus that. And I'm out by a small amount, let's just see if I've missed a particular figure. So if you get to this stage in a question and you find that things are not balancing you think it should be, well that means that you've made a mistake somewhere along the way, you need to go and check. I've probably left something out, but that's the basics, uh, basic idea of how you do it. I hope that makes sense. Enjoy.